Hi everyone. Good morning and welcome to the final video in the series on formal written methods. Save the best till last, it's long vision. So carry on watching and follow it closely. Good luck. So here we go with a couple of worked examples of long division. Um, you'll notice that the two numbers here that we've got that we're dividing by 17 and 38 are big numbers outside our usual times table knowledge. So um, that's why we've got to use this method. Um, but do keep watching because there's a high probability that I might make a mistake because I am working these out as live. I've got a crib sheet in front of me or anything worked out. Have on Mrs. Mott or Mr. Padden? No, so do stay watching. Uh, so let's have a look at an example of this. So our first example is 3,819 divided by 19. The divisor here is 19. That's the number we're dividing by. I don't know my 19 times tables, so I need to write out the multiples of 19. So what we teach the children is to write out the multiples of the divisor so that when they come to calculate, they've got them all there because that's the trickiest part. So quick way to add 19 is to add 20, take one away. So 19, add 19 is 38. Next one is 57, three lots of 19 is 57. So for darts fans, treble 19 is 57. Then we go to 76. Then we go to 95, so that's five lots. Then we go back to 114, that's six lots. 133, 152, 171, and then finally 190. We only need to go up to 10 lots of it, and that's a good way to check. So if you get to 10 lots, it should be 10 times bigger, and that's a good way to check if you've made a mistake. So let's have a look at working one out. So that's always your first step is to write out the multiple. So here's our calculation. 7,284 divided by 27. So I don't know my 27 times tables. So let's start writing out our 27 times tables. So we'll write out the multiples of 27. 27, 54, 81, 108, 135 is five lots. Next we go to 162, 189. I'm hoping I'm getting all of these right. Then we go to 216. Then we go to 243. Then we go to 270. So I feel fairly confident that they're right because I've got my 10th ten, one there, 270, that's 10 lots of 27. I know my fifth one's right because half of 270 is 135. So those two give me a good indication whether I'm correct or not. So I'm just going to change the colour pen into a blue one just so we can start working it out. So we do our bus stop division like we would for a short division. There's a divisor in 7,284 and now we start working through it. So 27 into 7 doesn't go, I can't make a group of 27 with just 7. So instead of carrying it, I bring it forward and now I'm going to do 27 into 72. So I come back to my multiples list, 1, 2. I can't get to 81, I can't make a third group. So I've got 2 there, so I'm going to put a 2 up there. I will then have 54 here. I'm going to take that 54 away. So I'm just going to write here 2 times 27. Okay, so I'm going to subtract that 54, which is 18, like so. And I'm going to bring down that 8. So 18 is for my remainder, and then I'll bring down the 8 like that. So now I'll go back to my multiples, 27s into 188. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can't get to 189, I can't make that. So I've got six groups there. So I'm going to put 162 there. And I'm going to just write 6 times 27 there. Put my 6 in here. Okay, so now... I need to do that subtraction. 
I'll just scroll the screen down ever so slightly so I can fill it all in so 188 take away 162 is 26 so now I can bring this 4 down like so Okay, so now I'm doing 27 into 264. Come back to my multiple list. That's the one there that I'm going to have to work with. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 up here. Just put in, I've done 6 times 20, uh, sorry, 9 times 27 there. And now I'm left with, I'm taking away 264. That's 243 there, which leaves me with 90, uh, sorry, 21. So 269 remain the 21. So you can see we're dealing with quite large numbers there. We'll go through another example. Um, but you can see it's quite a complicated method, lots to remember. Um, so I've picked a, a, another number that I'm not so confident on the times table, 65. So let's write our multiples out here of 65, so 65, 130, Uh, 585 and then 650 to find out. I will just tidy that little one up there because that's gone a bit wrong. That should look like a 5. So 585. So I've got my multiple. So that's the first step. That takes a little while, but without doing that, it makes it really, really difficult to um, complete. I'm going to just do this one in red. So it's a different colour. So start with your 65, bust up there, 3, 8, 9, 1. Strengthen that slightly. So 65 into 3 doesn't go. 65 into 8 doesn't go. 65 into 9. So I'm trying to do there. 65 into 3, 8, 9. I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, which takes me to 5 there. So I'm going to then take away 325 because that's that multiple. So that's 5 lots of 65. So that leaves me with 64. Bring this one down like so. 65 into 641. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like so. So 59 like that. 585 is what I'm going to subtract there. I'm going to have a really big remainder here. So that's uh, 9 times 65 there. And my remainder is 641 take by 585, which is 56 by my calculation. Hopefully, so 59 remainder 56. Okay, have a go with a long multiplication. Good luck. I know it's tricky, but it's worth worth doing. You'll have cracked one of the toughest concepts in Key Stage 2 maths. Good luck.